fact, we wanted to kick off the show with some more good news as our very own Dr Zoe and her partner Stuart welcomed a new baby. Baby Lisbon was born exactly five weeks ago today, making him one of our youngest this morning family members. Congratulations to <laughs> you both. Thank oh you. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. He is so sweet. This Thank is the you. thing we look forward to. We watch the bump grow. Yeah. And this is the little miracle that was in yeah. there. Here he is. He's kind of borderline at the moment. He's on the verge of crying. Well, 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 keep it, he, likes to, he likes to keep moving. He's he like his mum. I think this is what happened because I was running so much during pregnancy. Yes. And now he's oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he's Lisbon Lion. Yeah. So explain the name. Um, go ahead. Well, the first part's easy. We met in Lisbon. Yeah. Uh, 20 something months ago. Um, so that was on the list of names right from the very beginning. And at, when he was born, we just had to figure out if he could pull it off. It's a pretty brave name, yeah. but he can. And look at him. Well, thank yeah. goodness you didn't meet in Scunthorpe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could have been. And then, and then Lion, I guess, since we are in our relationship, we've always sort of symbolised our relationship with lions. So, yeah. Mummy Lion, Daddy Lion. Stuart's always sent me, like, lovely pictures of, of lions. So, when he was born, we are like, he's our little lion. He's your little lion. And you got it right so. again, Holt. I know. You did. I know, I know. And she was completely like certain, though. I mean, you looked at me across the studio and you said, I don't even need to come anywhere near you. I can tell. You're like, 100% it's, it's a boy. It's a boy. So, wow, he's gorgeous. Yeah, that for you, though, Zoe, because you always said within your life there was two things that you wanted to do. Yeah. And one was to be a doctor, which, yeah. of course, we know, watch you on here all the time. And the other one was to become a mother. Yeah. And you've spoken very openly on here before. You talked about your journey, about wanting to be a mother as you were getting older and freezing your eggs. Yeah. So to have a baby here in your hands now, to be a mum for five weeks, yeah. how is it? It's, it's just... Obviously, it's the hardest thing in the world, yeah. but... Oh, it's making me emotional. <laughs> it's just, it's just amazing. Yeah. It's just, you know, life is now complete, yeah. almost complete. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, maybe there'll be another one in the future if we're very, very lucky. But yeah, you know, this is something I can't imagine living the rest of my life not being a mum. It's not for everybody. I have friends who don't want to have children, but yeah. for me, I couldn't have imagined being on this planet another 50 years without being a mum. So did you it's expect just the most that? amazing were thing? You, were you, how easy? We, we know the, as you've said, you know, we've, you've shared that yeah. with us. Um, yeah. So were you expecting it? I mean, I'm 41, Stuart's 40. Yeah. So we sort of, when we started trying, we thought it's going to be at least six months before we even start to think about, you know, whether we need to have um, assistance to get pregnant. And we fell pregnant after just a couple of months. So we're just so, so, just so blessed, so yeah. grateful, so lucky. And he's absolutely perfect. And we're just, we're just on cloud nine, really. Exhausted, yeah. but yeah. on cloud I nine. Know, I mean, you look amazing. Well done. You're out of the house. <laughs> yeah. It's incredible. Um, the, it's really interesting because obviously you've got your sort of doctor head on you, your medical yes. head. And so your whole approach to pregnancy and then the childbirth, like you had a plan originally, yeah. which completely went out the window, didn't completely it? Completely changed. So um, I did six months of obstetrics and gynaecology as a GP trainee. And um, I've always had a very medicalised view of childbirth. Mm. So for initially, you know, I want to have an elective C-section because that way there's a certain element of control, the doctors are there, mm. everyone will be fine. And as I went through the nine months, he's fallen asleep. I know. As I went through the nine months, it was like the doctor Zoe and me got quieter and the maternal mummy Zoe and me got louder. And just watching my body change through pregnancy, I just became more and more confident as time went on that actually, do you know what? My body was made to do this. I can mm. give birth to this baby. And went from wanting an elective C-section to actually feeling like I don't want any doctors anywhere near me when I give birth. I think I'm more likely to be able to do this and do it the way I want to if so I'm a home on, birth. on my own. So I had a home birth. A water birth? A water birth. Yeah. Just and about. Just about. Yeah. <laughs> and how did, how did that go? <laughs> Not as planned. <laughs> Why? The answer to that. Um, I think the main thing, number one, he came early, so he was 10 days before his due date. Um, and then he was just in a hurry to come into the world. So um, we didn't have, you didn't have a hospital bag packed. We, we didn't have, I hadn't done a, a, a practice run with a birthing pool. Hadn't done any of these things, so... We weren't prepared. We so, weren't prepared. so Zoe's in full-on labour. The baby is coming, come what may. There's nothing you can yeah. do about it. And your job is to put that birthing Inflated pool birthing together. Pool, try and fill it with water when the adapters don't work. Like, uh, so you were carrying pots and pans? Yeah, full-on engineering challenge. So we were um, pumping water from the bath upstairs down into the into the pool. Oh my! Filling God. up boiling pans and uh, kettles to make it warm. Yeah. So I, was, I was in this bath it. and it was like a sauna because it was red hot because they were pumping the water out of the bath down into the pool. So Stuart was there and we had a doula, Letty, and they kept running hot water and I was like, it's burning me, it's too hot. And they, <laughs> oh, no. they turn it cold, a little bit colder for a while, and then they'd be turning the heat up again. But yeah, they just about managed to get yeah. the pool ready. And the, the midwife. 
The midwife wasn't there. Yeah. I mean, we planned to have a midwife. Yeah. We wanted to have a midwife there, but because things progressed so quickly, um, so Stuart was sort of in touch with the midwives throughout the night. I went to labour at midnight. He was born just before 10.30. And I think all of us thought, including myself, you know, first baby, this is going to be... It's going to take a long time. Um, but when things were sort of really revving up, um, we got in touch with the midwives and yeah. they, they didn't get there till 25 minutes after, which <sighs> meant... It was just, yeah. it was just us, was and just yeah, just us. Yeah. And then our doula was there, sort of cheerleading from the sidelines as well, and reassuring us, which was really. And are you, are, are you okay? How are you doing? I mean, yeah. I'm obviously exhausted, but you're we all right. We are good. We are amazing. Like a little bit more sleep would be great. Yeah. But we're just, yeah. we're just loving it, aren't we? We are loving it. And she was amazing. Ten and a half hours from start to finish. Obviously, no midwives, so no pain relief, no gas and air, not even any paracetamol. <sighs> And, it's amazing, uh, isn't it, what you, is what you can do? It's incredible what the human body can do. And I think the way I, I got into the headspace that I know women give birth in comas. I know that my body will birth this baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just a passenger, I'm an observer. I just have to tolerate whatever sensations, mm -hmm. let's call them sensations, mm -hmm. um, and just stay calm, stay relaxed, and, you know, everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. And luckily that's how things ended up and look at him he's asleep now he likes yeah. it here he does he, he loves does. it here he's just amazed with all the lights and yeah. everything that's going on <laughs> all the sounds <laughs> he's a total pro that's what i want to do oh, that's please. it so he can see his face oh my gosh he is oh, just oh, no. beautiful <laughs> oh, well done you two great head of hair as well yeah yeah, yeah. it's going curly when it's wet it goes curly does it so and my dad said when i was born my hair was just like this no and then way after a few months it went curly so We'll see. We shall see. We'll see. Well, congratulations, both of you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thanks. Thank you. Well done. Gorgeous. Amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank, Thank you. Uh, and also, while we're on the subject of uh, new parents, we want to say a huge congratulations to one of our producers, yeah. Sam, who is responsible for some of the amazing films that we feature on this morning. Oh, look, well, Sam and his wife, Becky, welcomed baby Huckleberry on Friday and he weighed in at a very healthy 9.5 pounds. Well done, goodness me. Congratulations to all of you. It looks like Sam had him. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Sam. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Sam. Yeah. I mean, you, you make great films and babies. <laughs> <laughs> no end to your talent. <laughs>